it sounds like you've really gone through like a huge growth in like personal growth period lately. Mm -hmm. I know that you mentioned um, before that you kind of like withdrew a lot from like your friends and from work and stuff. And then you found out that you had a hormone imbalance, right? Mm -hmm. That you got treated and now you feel very much yourself. Can you tell us about that time period a little bit? Uh, Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I think, I think, I think it would have happened without the pandemic, but the the pandemic was a catalyst for um, a lot of the unresolved issues I had. And I was like thrust into this awesome name, this awesome brand. And I worked so hard that I never stopped to actually pay attention to myself. Mm -hmm. I never stopped to actually um, have self-awareness or understand my own emotions. Everything I did was was purely... um, you know, kind of like the fight or flight, right? Mm -hmm. Um, It was purely based off of everyone else's reaction. So when the pandemic happened and I had no one telling me like, Adriana's awesome, you're pretty, blah, blah, blah. What was left was really, really shitty. (laughs) Um, uh, It sucked. It sucked to be in my head for about a year, year and a half because I had to realize like, fuck, my inner monologue is so mean, so aggressive. Um, and, and has no idea how to love herself. And, um, through all of that, it was, it was so negative. I had to just read a lot of books. Um, you know, I started reading a lot of self-help books. I started writing down everything I could. Like anytime I had a negative emotion, I would write it down to figure out like, where can I trace this back to in my life? Where did this start? And, um, uh, I got I got really lucky that uh, I also went to a doctor at the same time just to check my hormones because I had a psychiatrist who was trying to tell me I had dissociative disorder and possibly multiple personalities, but she was also taking like four grand a month from me. Mm-hmm. And I started to feel like, wow, I'm paying a lot of money and I'm starting to believe I have all these problems. Um, but I don't think these are my issues. I think I have no idea how to uh, do time management because I grew up in foster care. Um, and then went to college. And then from college, I had an agent who structured my life. Mm -hmm. Um, and now I have no one cheering me on. I have no one structuring me. Like what's my real issues. I don't love myself. And, um, I have no idea how to live time, time management wise. I have no idea how to function as a, as an adult. Um, and I have uh, a lot of like random things going on with my body. And then I turned 30. So I went to the doctor and he was like, oh, well, you have hypothyroidism. So I have really low thyroid, which uh, I started having neck pain and stuff really bad. If you have a low thyroid, your thyroid actually controls a lot of your hormones. So it can cause negative emotions, negative thoughts, and your low thyroid actually uh, can influence how you feel pain. Mm. So when I got on medication, my pain was like 10 times better. You know, um, the negativity was not so aggressive. I was able to push it away a lot. Um, but you know, like even now I still have, I still have those things, but I've been so lucky to have the tools to, um, understand them. Like, uh, so yesterday I just got, I just got a trauma therapist because, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I do Twitch Mm -hmm. and, um, I got swatted where they send a SWAT team to your house while you're live streaming because my address got out. So, uh, like 30, 30 cops showed up to my house in the middle of the night uh, and they had guns pointed at me. They put me in the dirt, arrested me, thought I had somebody in my house I was trying to kill. Uh, then they had to go into my house and I was live on stream so you can see him running through my house. And uh, that happened three more times. So I've, I've had to take great lengths now to get my address hidden, building a gate, security. So that all happened, but I started to realize, um, I think I might have like PTSD from stuff that happened to me in my past because I am so hyper aware and so, um, sensitive. Like I have an assistant and people that come work in an office in my house, but if they open the door, I immediately like jump and freak out and panic. Um, and I think a lot of the problems, including the health problems and stuff that's caused me to be self-aware is, is PTSD from my past and, just like crazy things that have happened to me. Um, Like my first year of porn, I had a a stalker. He tried to run me over and abducted me for about half an hour. And that moment alone, I just kept moving on to the next, let me just move on and shoot like a week later. Yeah. Um, You didn't really like have time to like process that. Yeah. Like I had no time to process anything. And I know, I don't think I ever even realized I needed to. Um, So 
you know, I think that's just caused a lot of inter introspection and uh, that's why I really like haven't shot because I was like, I can't shoot with all of these things that I need to process and, yeah. and then try and tell myself like, oh, you look good today at the same time. It was really, really hard. It was exhausting. So I'm, I'm in the midst of a journey. 